Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is a general reading for the month of June. Let's see what messages are coming out. Please remember they're general, they may or may not apply. Um, I am doing a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. If you'd like to participate, all you gotta do is subscribe to my channel and then just let me know that you are, um, you've subscribed by leaving me a message below and then I will add your name to the others. Okay, we're gonna start out here before I put out the cards for everything else. Wow, you have the card of number 13, the card of freedom for the month of Ju June. I was gonna say July, but it's not, it's June. So the Eagle Spirit is coming out here for you and it's really asking you to see how free you truly are. It's a time for you to really express yourself, not to hold yourself back. And really you're choosing life on your terms by seeing things from a higher perspective and you're not being trapped by the expectation of others or even from your own mind. So this is you flying high and allowing spirit to guide you through the month of June and really having the ability to choose your life on your own terms, you know, whatever that that is for you, whatever the circumstances are for you. The eagle is a messenger and it's bringing you the message to empower you and to show you how to break free from anything that has been holding you back as well during the month of June. So it's about the intent that you're putting for June for what, for boundless freedom, uh, for allowing things to be the way they are and to really becoming that, becoming free within yourself, within your own experiences. Let's see what the first week of June is saying. The first week, the six of material comes out. So it's about balance. It's about having harmony. Now there's a little bit of lack of confidence in the second week of the Empress in, re uh, in reverse. So, but that's just a blockage that turns around. We will be doing clarifiers. We do have the Muse of Inspiration on the third week. So getting really inspired. And I do have uh, the card of the Awakening on the fourth week. At the bottom of the deck, I have the card of Ten of Emotions. The Ten of Emotions is the Ten of Cups, which talks about joy, happiness, family, coming together, and things of that nature. So as we're first seeing here with the card of the Six of Material, the Six of Material is just asking you to kind of see what is in balance within your life, where's things in harmony. So again, the freedom that you're seeking right now is what? bringing yourself to a sense of balance. And this is about how we give and receive. So allowing yourself to receive as much as that you do give so you allow the flow of abundance come in and out through your life. And that's what this card is all about. It's just being as open of receiving and giving freely and not being in any place that is in, in regards to scarcity and things of that nature. So this is about what the sacred, it's about mirroring souls that are all around you. So the energies that are around you, so whatever that you're putting out is to put back in and to allow the flow of that. So let's see what a card wants to come out and really uh, give more meaning to the six of material in the first week. So I'm gonna take the first card, this is about movement, the intent of moving forward. Again, the two horses signify the masculine and the feminine energies of really moving forward where you're setting your intentions. So there's been a movement around you. So six and then seven. So June, July, there's a lot of movement, a lot of setting new intentions and really feeling again, horses are also the card of travel and the card of freedom in from the four legged sense. Um, horses signify that, signify freedom. And so again, it's showing up here twice for you. So this is really allowing the flow of life as you set your intentions to move forward, not looking back. So you're freeing yourself from past energies. The Empress in reverse, the Empress, if you're looking at the card, and I will grab it in a second, as I want to see what card wants to come um wants to come for you. So I'm gonna put those back so here. The Empress comes, the Empress upright with the Empress in reserve. Wow, I just saw that. Okay, so in this card, it's you, you have a lot of cards that are talking about balancing. I mean, look at this. We have the card of six of material, right? The mirroring, the I see you, you see me. It's almost like, you know, the God within me sees the God within you. It's like the namaste prayer, right? And this is, you're encountering people who are reflecting back to you what you're putting out, okay? So really noticing reflections in the first 
week of June, again, the masculine, and the feminine energies, the yin, the yang. So this is about you. What? It's about you really recognizing your own energy and becoming neutral to these energies as you move forward. In the second week, it, with this deck, and I love this deck of card for the Empress here because she is the world. Like she is the universe. The universe is her, is you. And as you're seeing that within this, because she's teaching you. And what is it that the Hierophant is teaching you? She's teaching you about the feminine. So these are the feminine energies that are coming out. It's nurturing energies. They're the mothering energies of the universe. It's creating a path that is healing for yourself and for others. And it's really stepping into that. It's the seeds that you're planting because in this she's pregnant. So as you're seeing, so if this is in reverse, there's some kind of confidence that is really maybe within the past, maybe things were not in harmony with you in the past or with another female that could be too. But now you're giving birth to a new version. So if this has to do with somebody else, there's a balancing energy that is again showing up. Nothing is good nor bad. It just is kind of feeling because two empress, two horse, two of the material, to signifying freedom, we're on a roll here as you're seeing things that are manifesting in that. So this is giving birth and really feeling confident about yourself and about the world that you are creating. So it's like leaving one old world behind as you're stepping into a complete new world in another realm, in another reality. And if you really notice that, you're really stepping into something that is more fulfilling because it's all new energy. And the third week, you're stepping into the muse of inspiration. The muse of inspiration is all about the success. It's uh, the visionary. It's about thinking big. It's, it's, it's a wand's energy. So in this deck, there is no king. From the queen of inspiration, it goes to the muse. And the muse is about the world of inspiration. It's going through a new walkway of how you create. It's like things that are illuminating for you. So it's offering you the hand for you to go through something bigger, something yet that you have yet have experienced. So are you ready to experience this um, as you're stepping through this gateway? So again, it's how you're expressing yourself. And she's asking you here to really allow this this long way there's a journey up ahead and you're going through this journey and this journey is a new way of creation so it's a new way of you creating things for yourself so visioning what is it that you vision for yourself and let's go ahead and see what card wants to come on that in this you know a lot of beautiful cards and look at the card that wanted to flip in reverse and I'll take this one because it did come out. So don't go here. Again, six six of pentacles, six of material in reverse. In the third week, in the third week of June, you may go into some kind of sabotage, you know, and we're clearly seeing that. It's like there's this new sense, a new way but you're creating something new, but then there's an imbalance that could happen within you. Something just doesn't feel right, and you may go back in your mind, and as you see, there's two faces here. Again, you're right now, a lot of two, 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 twos that are happening, so maybe look up twos um, in another way too, because twos is about stepping away from fear and really creating. So when I'm having the muse of inspiration, you know, with the eight of swords and then a six that wanted to come out with it, this is out of harmony and out of balance in the third. So are you afraid of a new seed or planting? Is there something that has taken back your confidence? Has something come up for you that is fear-based? Are you having the worst thoughts? And then we come into the card of liberation, the card of the judgment, the card this is one of my favorite cards. Why? Because this is liberating yourself from the prison of your own mind. This is looking up and becoming the higher version. You're awakening to your own divine, divine nature. So releasing judgment, you know, this is when we face the music of ascension. We're accepting and we're forgiving our beautiful soul and all who've come 
to this place with us and all that we have learned. So that the fourth is about learning. The key to judgment is that this awakening that is inside of your heart and there's things that are you are remembering. So it's about you having radical self-compassion. It's about you really realizing and forgiving others. So there's whatever that is happening here, there's a forgiveness. It's almost like just owning your own heart and forgiving of spirit and of all others who have, you know, played this role in your life where it's been out of harmony and out of balance. So let's put a card on that and let's see what card wants to come for the card of awakening. Um, I'm going to put that back in and let's see, just need one more card. Nope. For the card of awakening, how spirit and look at that decisions and choices. So this is about forgiving your lovers, forgiving all your choices, forgiving the decisions. This is liberating yourself from past choices and past decisions and realizing that you're here to choose a new, choose a higher path. Literally, it's about, you know, making a new choice and not keeping yourself in the prison of your own mind. Literally, it's about, you know, living your own truth. So, you know... How are you liberating yourself? What decisions and choices? And know that you could choose again. So the choice, the choices that you make can either keep you in the prison of your own mind or they can liberate you. You know, they can throw you out of harmony or you can find peace and move forward in that sense. So again, what is it that you are creating? You know, where are you putting your energy? So what is it that you're creating for yourself? Let's go ahead and grab, um, remember, remember freedom, liberation, you know, liberation, freedom, same thing. So let's go ahead and see what the um, oracle wants to say. And we have be peace. So this card comes and says, love is beyond, beyond thoughts, feelings, and emotions. It is a state of being, an expression of the all fully experienced by being in each moment. Don't think about being in the moment. Just be in each moment. Be the courageous, loving being you are. Step out of the shadow of your past. What have we been saying? All that matters is what you do in each moment. Make today the best day of your life by deciding your life is yours to live in whatever way is meaningful to you. You brought yourself in this life and you're responsible for the quality of it. No more pulling and pushing what you like or don't like. No more resistance for this causes suffering and pain from the moment. You can choose to be at peace and in the flow of love, no matter what is going on around you. Today, the life you have truly wanted begins. Yes, and we are clearly seeing this in your in your reading, clearly. So let's go ahead. And I love how everything just comes together. And we have the card of truth. Speak from your heart. It is the only thing worth listening to. Absolutely. Until next time, I'm sp sending you so much love and so much light. Namaste.